Hello, my name is Anna Dieter. I'm 52 years old. I live in Southern California. Um, and I have been a patient of AmCell Clinic in Kyiv, Ukraine. Um, I went there in August, um, August 2010. So I would like to tell you a little story about how I decided to um, go to Kyiv. Uh, being from being a because I am from from a former Soviet Union, I was a little skeptical um, whether I should go to Ukraine. Uh, I was a little bit afraid of going to this country. Um, however, when I came here, I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised. This is an amazing European country. The city of Kyiv is so clean. The people here are so nice and friendly. And also there are so many interesting historical uh, places to see and so many interesting things to learn about this amazing country. Um, so I would like to tell you a little story about um, uh, how I met my husband because it actually has uh, has something to do uh, with my decision to come and to have the treatment in this country. Uh, when we met, it happened four years ago, and when we met, we both wished we met 15, 20 years um, earlier, so we would be younger and we would have a chance to enjoy being together for a longer time. So, and since that time, <laughs> my husband started searching online and looking for different um, ways how we would we how would we um, go somewhere and have some kind of treatment for anti-aging so anti-aging was our main goal um, so there were some uh, health problems that i had i beginning to um, go through menopause and because of that, I had all kinds of symptoms related to menopause. For example, I had terrible hot flashes, I, hot flashes which actually impacted the quality of my life. I couldn't exercise in the gym. Um, I developed a heart palpitation, irregular heartbeat. And um, I couldn't um, work as um, I wanted to. I couldn't have the quality of life that I wanted to have. So, um, so I really felt that something was going wrong. And then when I went to the doctor, um, they actually suspected I had a heart problem. So, um, I, and uh, when they gave me a test, it was a stress test. They put me on the treadmill and they wanted me to move. So bottom line, um, I, I developed such a terrible palpitation, heart palpitation, that the doctor in the uh, clinic in, in California had to take me to the emergency room because they didn't know what to do with me. So that's how I learned that I, my heart wasn't really doing well and I had to do something. So I did have some kind of uh, treatment, I had medication, I still have my magic bullet, atenolol, in my purse, I still carry it with me. Um, however, even though I had different procedures on my heart performed, for example, I had um, abdominal ablation, um, the procedure after which my heart was much, much better, but still, even after the procedure, I still would have uh, many relapses. If each time I would be nervous or I would be put in a stress situation, I, I would start uh, developing my irregular heartbeat and I would develop shortness of breath. So I've, I was feeling really, really bad. Um, so I, when my husband first brought this topic to me going to Ukraine for an anti-aging treatment, I was, again, skeptical, but uh, still I said, okay, you know what, I'm going to do anything. I just don't want to take any medication anymore. So I, I'm willing to try. So um, after um, homework, <laughs> a long homework, we were searching online, we were reading about 
uh, AMCEL, we were communicating with the people that work in AMCEL um, online, we Skyped with them, and by the way, people over there were professional right away from the first communication with them, we learned that people in Ukraine, in AMCEL, were very professional. They um, answered all our questions almost right away. I, it's a miracle, I don't know how they were able to do it, but the, any question that we would have would be answered within, I don't know, a couple of hours, not even the next day, a couple of hours, and we would have all the answers right away. And um, so we actually felt pretty comfort, uh, comfortable and confident going to see this clinic and trying this treatment. So my husband will tell you about his health problems and about his results, but about me. So my, result, uh, my treatment was performed in August of 2010. So today is uh, um, almost January, so it's almost um, five, six months, almost half a year since I've had this treatment. So, bottom line, uh, if my cardiologist before the treatment told me uh, that uh, when I'm in gym and when I'm on treadmill um, exercise, I should monitor my heartbeat, um, my, my pulse, it should be not higher than 100, 110. So now I go to gym and I can easily have my pulse raise up to 160 and I'm not tired. I don't feel any heart palpitation, irregular heartbeat, any shortness of breath, so I'm completely fine. I also went to uh, the same doctor who diagnosed me first time with my uh, problem with my heart. And uh, I used the same equipment, the same machine that diagnosed me back then. So they again asked me to move. It was kind of again the stress test. And they looked how my heart uh, was able to recover after this exercise. And the diagnosis, their diagnosis was my heart is 100% healthy. So I can have the quality of life I always wanted. I can go hiking, I can go to gym, I can work, you know, as many hours as I want, and I actually can enjoy my life. The other very interesting side effect, I mean, the not, not a good, good effect, but to me it's kind of a side effect that I thought would be interesting to tell you. Um, uh, prior to the treatment, I had um, my hair removed from certain, certain areas of my body, uh, basically with a laser. And um, after the treatment, when I came back, I couldn't understand what was going on. Uh, about after two months, yeah, after two months of the treatment, after the treatment, my hair started to grow. And it wasn't just hair, just, just soft hair, it was strong, it was very young hair. So in a way it's a side effect, but it, tells, it, it told me that uh, my stem cells, my fetal stem cells that were injected in August, uh, they started to work. So, um, other uh, positive effects that I, I've had, um, okay, I would say that I, I'm, I, have, um, mm, I have stamina, m increased stamina. I can, uh, if before, e um, even at work, uh, I'm a speech pathologist, a very stressful job. I work in a public school setting, and uh, before the treatment, I was I would be exhausted somewhere around 11, 12 o'clock. I would have no strength to continue with my day, and if it was a weekend, I would just take a nap. I would have to take a nap, and now I'm completely fine. My stamina is amazing. I can do twice as much work, and. Uh, so I kind of consider myself that I am healthy again, and I'm much younger. And in terms of being younger, I didn't tell my coworkers about the procedure that I've had, because you know, people don't know about it, they could be skeptical, so I didn't tell anybody. 
So about three, ma three months after the treatment, uh, my coworkers started giving me compliments. Hey, Anna, what have you done? Have you done anything, you know, cosmetic procedures or anything? Because they noticed that my, I kind of have radiant uh, look. Um, it's not, I, when I look in the mirror, I see that they still have like little wrinkles on my face, but they're kind of smoother. I can tell it. So I'm really excited with the results of uh, my treatment. And again, um, during the treatment and after the treatment, the doctors told me that uh, I have to be patient. I would have to be patient that I would have to wait for the results up for up to a year. And now I am only, what, half a year after the treatment and now I'm excited because I see the results already and uh, I am expecting even better results. So um, this is my story and again I would like to encourage people that are thinking about um, in improving, improving their health um, in a natural way with no medications and um, it's, just, it's just amazing, the results are amazing and if people would like to experience um, getting to know interesting places, um, amazing people, people here are so interesting to deal with, interesting to talk with. Um, and it's here in Kiev, it's a lot of historical places. So I would encourage anybody to come here and have this treatment because there, again, there are no side effects. So um, thank you very much, Amcel Clinic. I really appreciate uh, your help. I really appreciate the treatment. Oh, and the main thing I forgot to mention, that is the main, the main thing. Before the treatment, I was on uh, bio, bio hormone therapy. Uh, I was using, uh, the, my, my doctor in Beverly Hills prescribed hormone therapy. So I was doing th a combination of three hormones, uh, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen. So I was doing a lot of hormone therapy. And before the treatment, I knew what I was doing, right? So after the treatment, um, I was continuing with this hormone therapy. And the second month after the treatment, I was feeling worse. I, I started worrying. I started getting worried. What was wrong with me? I expected uh, feeling better and all of a sudden I was feeling worse. So I called my hormone specialist, my hormone doctor, and explained the situation. I didn't tell him about uh, stem cell treatment. So, and my doctor said, you know what? You need to increase your hormone uh, therapy. Uh, so instead of, I was doing clicks, uh, clicks on, was rubbing this hormone um, med medicine on over my arm. So he told me to increase the dosage, which I did. And I was feeling completely, I mean, I was feeling even worse. So I couldn't understand what was wrong with me. So I went to the um, doctor again and I had my blood test done saliva test done, the, the doctors wanted to see where my hormone level was. And I was really surprised to learn that my hormone level was five times higher than it was supposed to be. So it appeared that I had too much hormones in my body. So I cut it down and now I'm almost, I, I'm not using anything at, at the moment and I'm feeling wonderful. So that was very important that I wanted to mention. Thank you very much.